Hello guys, welcome to Sim UK. This is Alia or Alia or I really cannot remember or correctly pronounce the name of this game. It's a bit weird um, because it's not a VR game, but because it's built on the Unreal 4 engine, uh, which has VR compatibility built in, it does tend to open my Oculus and try and run the game within VR. Now, it didn't do this last time I played, so this might be a bug, but um, yeah, you can't play this game in VR, but you can certainly load the main menu and look at it in VR. It's very strange. Um, Phone Bus used to do it, it doesn't do it anymore, but I think maybe they've left something turned on when it should be turned off. You can see that this is my, my character's face. If I get really close, I can show you her eyeballs. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of an annoyance because I didn't really want to open the VR, and I'm having difficulties loading the game without it. So <laughs> hopefully there will be a review here. Let's see, shall we? Okay then guys, so by hook or by crook, I finally got the bloody thing to start without it going into Oculus. For some reason, even though I've, I've shut down the services of Oculus, so that's no longer opening, um, but equally, Steam VR always opens when I start this game now, and I can't seem to stop it from happening, so it's most irritating. So let me tell you straight off the bat, guys, that this game looks so mm -hmm. damn good now unreal engine 4 we know it looks good but this game has really taken it to another level so we've got english we'll have head bob on force feedback off uh oh we can actually play with a controller can we i haven't tried this so this could be interesting okay we'll keep that on crosshair we'll have that on why not uh, controls, invert mouse, mouse sensitivity, invert gamepad, gamepad sensitivity, gamepad and mouse. What are the options here? Okay. Well, that was weird. It closed itself. Okay, fine. Audio, <clears throat> display, borderless window, disabled, V-Sync, unlocked. Okay, graphics, ultra, 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 ultra. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start a new game here. The reason why I had this actually, um, I had this early access before the game was released um, on Steam, but I got stuck and I couldn't get past a bit I was stuck on. Now, the developers kept saying to me, there is something there, you'll see it if you look. And I was basically in this white room with nothing and there was nothing, 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 nothing at all. Um, and this is a very odd game. Uh, in my humble opinion, but it looks gorgeous. So that's enough yibby yabba. So the game is uh, from the Koyodai Limited de Development Team. Uh, it's published by Sodesco Publishing, and they were kind enough to send me a key so that I can make a review for you guys. Now this is uh, this is considered to be episode one. I don't know how many episodes there are going to be, but I assume they're going to come out uh, in order, so episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc, etc, etc. This one is, um, this one will set you back just £3.99. So uh, let's begin. Right, let's start a new game. Are you sure you want to start a new game? All progress will be lost. Yes. Let's do it. Before we begin, I need to be certain that you are fully aware of what we are about to do here, El. L. That's how you pronounce it. L. Not Elia. Not Elia. L. But I have to hear you say this out loud. Use the right stick to yes, look around. I agree. Well, that's an interesting, me, but I must <laughs> an interesting this starting view there. The procedure will not erase any of your memories. It will only seal some of the mapped neural pathways, thus blocking certain memory clusters. As a result, the frequency of recall in your day-to-day -day life will be moderately diminished and you might struggle with long-term memory access. Are you completely certain that 
this is what you want. I'm not certain of anything, Ollie. Are you? I cannot guarantee that these pathways will, will never be reopened. I am aware of that. Is your decision final? Yes, it is. Go. That's getting trippy right about now. Please, state your name. River Alea Catherine Jones. Alea. Who says Alea? He said L. On the count to ten, you will start to relax, and at the end you will feel entirely void. One. Prepare yourself, boys and girls. This gets a bit trippy. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Got a lot of uh, vibration on the controller. Seven. I have next to no idea what this all means, really. Very, very trippy. And it gets trippier than this, I tell you. This this game blew my mind the first time I played it. Completely blew my mind. I didn't know what was going on. It's pretty intense stuff. to do something here here we go pick up look at the graphics hey. on this hey did i wake you yeah no i must have dozed off it's okay when did you arrive a couple hours ago how's the baby doing smart bracelet has a low battery how's the baby doing he is asleep, just like his mommy. How about you? Is the storm still wreaking havoc? Let me look. Mm. Ugh, Earth gravity still sucks. A light's on. There we go. We can actually see what's going on now. So we're in like a, a baby's playroom. Yes, Em. Sorry, a bit slow. Yeah, looks like it'll rain forever. <laughs> There's enough energy out there to take us to Titan. We should have chose the perfect time of year to move in. <sighs> oh, he kicked. Incidentally, we're pregnant, guys. You can't really tell because of the camera angle, but... Wait, he did it again. I love you all. <laughs> we love you too, Ethan. I'm missing you so much. I only left this one. It feels much longer. I'm always with you, even from above. 
very funny. How's Frankie doing? You know, he's acting out. Hang on, I'll go check on him. The Frankie's our other child, or el eldest child, I should say. Um, this is kind of the pace of the game, except for certain elements where things are faster. Frankie? Go away. Your father's on. Do you want to say hi? No. You heard that? Yeah. He's locked himself in again. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I installed the parental access pack last night. Maybe it's a good time to try it out. You mean I can invade my son's privacy whenever I want to? Yeah, pretty much. Mm, let's give it a shot. What do I do? I already sent you an invite. You gotta go to the mainframe and allow the app in your account. In the study? That's two flights of stairs. Can't I do it from the risk com? Not the first time. Do you know how much I weigh? A little exercise never hurt anyone. I'll tell you about exercise. You just get back here. So, uh, yeah, you can see it's all very futuristic. Um, and this is, I don't know, a pretty darn good sort of... What does this do? A pretty darn good um, sort of interpretation of life in the future, I imagine. This is our bedroom, as in mums and dads. I do love the proximity uh, lights that come on. Just showing you around the place a little bit. Look at this. How cool is this? And everything works. It's all bloody awesome. I don't think you can turn the shower on. You can see that the, the window has sort of, sort of put this cover over. It's like curtains, but curtains for the future. It, this game just looks sensational. And almost everything is interactive. Look, and change some clothes as well. So in-depth. And you can come up to items on, uh, on desks and such. Uh, that's a snake. I don't want to ask too many questions. Let's um, let's close this down, and I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on here. So, L or Alia is a surreal sci-fi adventure game in which you play as the space enthusiast Alia or Ellie or however you want to pronounce it. The year is 2073, and Earth was struck by a horrid childhood disease, and Alia's husband Ethan joined an expedition to colonize Solas a habitable exoplanet to save humanity from extinction. The interstellar ship he was on, Pilgrimage, went radio silent shortly after it reached the planet Solace. Thirteen years later, Elia, or Elia joins a recovery mission to investigate the faith of the expedition. I adore him, but I know that even if the world depended on it, Ethan would still leave a mess anywhere he goes. I'll ask him to invest in the Staho this time when he returns. It will keep Sophie company and we will all be happy to have the extra help. Well, there we go. So I'm trying to find the study, which is somewhere around here. Let's see if this mirror works. Yep. Hello, hello, look at my belly. Yes, very pregnant. Uh, every, everything is interactive. Oh, look. Shit. Power went out again. Got some language in. Problem, Starlight. Our new but sadly not very modern generator may need a simple reboot. And be careful in the basement stairway from the kitchen storeroom. Once you're there, I'll give you specific instructions. Okay. Thanks, Moonshine. So there's a really... Starlight. Again, be careful going down. Here's a soundtrack for you. <laughs> so yeah there's um there was an important bit of information there that i totally missed the first time i played you need to get to the basement which is via the storage room off the kitchen so here's the kitchen um now the developers sure just being careful as ordered 
the developers have had to introduce lots more sort of guidance for players because there were so many people just getting completely lost. First thing is here that the basement is in the storage room which for some reason has no door on and uh, to get to it you need to oh, move these boxes oh, out. Oh, I need the key for the basement. I think I left it on the kitchen table or somewhere there for sure. What if Frankie finds it? Don't worry, he's a big boy now and what can he find in the basement anyway? A dangerous relic from an old time. Ethan, I need you to help me for a second. Excuse me for a moment, love. Now, if she was a paranoid wife, she'd be like, who was that lady then? And why is she calling you away when you're talking to me? I'm trying to put this box up on this box, but I'm having a bit of... There we go. Now, it looks like there's some sort of invisible barrier there, which I've not noticed before, but... Try and... It's knocking it out of my hand. Come on now. Go. Ugh. A bit clunky, but it works. Right, we need to go find this key, which is on the table in the kitchen. Which uh, I don't know if it means this desktop here. I spent about an hour playing this game the other day, but a lot of that time was sort of walking around in circles, trying to figure out where the heck I was meant to be going. Stuff like that happens a lot. Pretty weird. Pretty darned weird. Well, there's the kitchen table. Where's the key? Where did I find the key? Annoyingly, last time I played this, I found the key before I found the door. Is that it? No. It doesn't look like a traditional key, if I remember rightly. That knife doesn't look at all dangerous jammed in the wood like that. Especially with young children running around. Not a good idea. Uh, where is this key? Get the kitchen. Find the key for the basement door, yes. Love to. Where is it? You can pretty much pick everything up, spin it around. Is that it? Is that the key? Basement key. See, it doesn't look like a traditional key. And that's not, I'm pretty sure that's not where I found it last time. But I could be wrong. Let's go open this door and see what's downstairs in the basement. Ethan, I'm... Oh, of course, the battery dies at the best possible moment. Look at the size of this place. To the study. To the study. Now I can't walk any faster than Francis? this. Francis? I'm not intentionally going slowly. This is the pace of the game. And the devs don't really want to s speed it up. Um, they, I mean, th their argument to me was that, you know, she she's heavily pregnant, which is why she walks so slowly. But then... Um, you know, my wife and many, many other wives uh, during their pregnancy, even right at the end, could still walk faster than this. This is, in, this is painfully slow. And she's not even that big, to be fair. Now, we need to find the office, which I think is up here. Uh, okay, what was it? Four? Four seven seven or four three seven seven. Now I had some issues with this. Four four seven seven. That's not working. Four four seven seven. Okay. 
That seems to be working better I now. Check my info pad for the code. Find your info pad and look for the study's door code. So, got to find the info pad. Kind of looks like an iPad, but uh, uh, maybe that's it over there. There we go. Okay, 4472 just popped up on the left hand side there. 4472 is the code. Um, so we don't really need to read anything else that's on there. 4472 is the code number. When I tried to do this before. Oh gosh. 4472. It was really buggy. Thankfully, that's working perfectly well now. So we're into the study. Okay, let's see now. Very, I mean, it's full of light, isn't it, this mm. building? It's, it looks sensational. Really nice. So our smart bracelet is charging, which is good. Uh, messages, house control. House manager, location Earth, New Mazunti, Mazunta. User River Elia Catherine Jones. I think that's what I needed. Again. Messages. Let's try messages. Hey L, when you click the link at the bottom of the message, you'll execute the embedded override function in Home Hub and it will unlock all the doors in the house. Please go and check on Francis, though I know it's hard for you with that huge belly. Smiley face. Kisses from the Moonwalker. Okay, so let's. Okay, Francis, let's see if you can escape your mother so easily. I believe that's that done. And our smart bracelet has fast charged. I mean, incredibly quickly. Can't run at the moment. Right. Now, when we get to Francis's room, everything's going to go a little bit skew with. It's going to go... Well, it's it's going to show you what the rest of the game is like. Um, let me just tell you that much. Where the heck is he? I don't remember this bit. Are these the stairs? Yes, they are, yeah. That's a strange ornament, that one. Francis, Frankie's room, sorry. Ready for this? Prepare yourself. Hold on to your boots. Frankie? Hello, Alaya. Switch off, Sophie. That's like a, a futuristic uh, Amazon Echo, I guess. I'm not walking this slowly, the game's making me walk this slowly. Francis? Where's he gone? Huh? When is father coming back? You have to go find your mother? Frankie? Lou? <gasps> a paradigm shift is an event of such magnitude that the probability of a human individual to affect it by not participating is negligibly low. Kazumi, the omniscient AI host of RSS Recovery. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> yes, things will get weirder from here. 
Now, I'm not sure how far we can get into the game. It's like 26 minutes long already. Now we're in sort of some in-between world ocean area. I don't know what's going on. There's a shark in the top. Some sort of bowl floating, I don't know what that is. And then... What's going on? Now we're in this room. Which is like an ocean going... <coughs> thing. Until you move and then... got to try and figure out what the hell you're doing. I figured this bit out pretty quickly because on the floor you'll see there's this like stream here and there's a door that you can find at the end just whether or not I'm going the right way. That's a dead end. That's a dead end so we're not going that way. We must be going this way. See who was that? He just ran past me then. So much weird stuff going on. The door is down here. Now this is the furthest I have got. Because when I open this door, everything this door wasn't here before. So that's a that's a that's an improvement. Let's see if I can actually open it. No. Last time I played, I walked up to this door and it was completely white. Um, and the second that I did walk up to it, everything went white and then there was nothing. Now, the devs told me that there was something in this room that I needed to find. So I don't know what's just happened there, but already this is a step closer than I got previously so from this point on I don't know anything anything more than you do that seem to open the door nothing appears to be interactive Kazumi, Voyager 1231 River, Alea Catherine Jones requesting assistance to exit. Uh, what is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. There is so much weird trippy stuff going on in this game. Can I get out of this room yet? Still can't. <laughs> the walking into it is a bit weird. Try again. level I don't understand what's going on at all I think we have I think we've gone back obviously standing in the middle of that thing was not what I was meant to be doing right okay let's what's go going on? let's try and get out the door this time has it gone back or is this part of the game 
so confusing. It hasn't all gone weird and... Kazumi, Voyager 1231 River, Alea, Catherine Jones, requesting assistance to exit... <gasps> Is. Yeah, look. Back again. So. Is this a baby crib? Is it a baby crib? Huh? What is that? Hmm? What is that? A freaking shark now? A shark? What? The shark's going towards the baby crib. Now they've both vanished and that thing's gone. More blood. Crib's back. Coming closer. Is that somebody's head? There's a head in the crib. Um, I'm not good with trippy games. They make me feel weird. And this one's doing it on a new level. <laughs> what is going on? Who is this guy? What? Ethan. That's Ethan. That's her husband, by the way. Kazumi? Kazumi, come in. Kaz? Oh, it's, it's gone underneath. What's that? Should I stand on it or not? Still can't open the door. I think we're going to have to stand on it. Weirded out yet? Again? I'm having serious deja vu here. It's like deja vu with slight tweaks of difference. I don't know if I'm progressing in the game or whether I'm doing doing the wrong thing and just having to start everything all over again. I don't understand what the hell's going on. Bearing in mind, this is after they added more helpful content so What's that people didn't on? get lost so much. See, it's it's the same but it's slightly different again. Now open the door this time. Still no. Nothing appears to be interactive at all. Kazumi, Voyager 1231 River, Alea Catherine Jones requesting assistance to exit. <gasps> What's going on? We're just going around in circles here. I can't figure anything out at all. Every time we go in that circle, we end up doing this whole is bit it, again. This a baby crib? 
baby crib, okay? didn't do that last time, did it? It's slightly different again. This game is the most confusing game ever. The most confusing game ever. I have literally no idea what is going on or what I'm meant to be doing. If I go and stand in it again, I don't know. He hasn't mentioned the shark this time. A freaking shark now? Okay, now she's mentioned the shark. It's almost like it does something every time I step up to the window. Except now it doesn't. But the shark's going towards the baby crib. The baby crib goes out. The shark disappears into the water and the blood disappears. <gasps> the crib disappears, I think. Can't really tell. No, it might still be there. But the crib's going to come all the way over here. It's going to float all the way over to us. We're going to see Ethan's head and then that's going to do something weird. And then I'm not going to stand in it this time. Because that seems to kill us. The whole game runs at this pace. Kazumi, come in. Kaz? What is this doing now? What is that square thing? I mean, it looks like a lift, but... Careful not to stand on it this time. a weird reflection depending on where I'm standing. I think it is actually. But it's not actually doing any of what I just said. It just depends on where I'm standing as to what I see. Okay. And where has the blood come from? We have Something's happened. What is going on? So ordinarily, guys, when I make sort of a gameplay review like this, it's a case of, you know, I give you my thoughts on it, uh, my opinions, what I like, what I don't like. I sort of say, do I recommend it? Would I personally recommend it to you? Um, and I think this is the first game where I don't know what any of the answers are. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a good game. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I don't like it. I don't know if I'd recommend it. All I can do in this game is show you what I see. And this is it. Now, for some reason, I can't do anything. What's that come up? Random 
LEA characteristic, blah blah blah. Absolutely no idea what's going on. That thing in the middle must be doing something, but I don't know what. So I'm probably going to I'm probably going to end the review there because, you know, I'm just stuck in this room. I don't know what to do. And every time I go near this thing. <laughs> weird stuff happens. I can't open the door. Definitely different than it was last time. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know what more to do. to do it's so confusing a game oh this has got to be the most confusing game ever I'm just gonna go stand in this bubble one more time and So does that now open the door? No. So does that now turn this into a lift? But was it a lift? Now, see, now that's stuck in that position and I can't do anything with it. What's changed? None of this makes any sense. The door definitely won't open. can't run, I can't step into the middle of the room, I can't press anything. Come on! Come up. I'd love to. Oh, now the door's open. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Everything's freaking me out. Maybe that's the brilliance of this game. Is that it really does make you just have an experience. Oh, 
Walkers. Uh, where did that go? So, should I be... I can't walk off the edge. Do these dots and circles mean anything? Seems as though I can't fall off. down on top of us now, are you? No, we didn't do that. That would be silly. Now it's all green over there. Limited movement. Joins Mindscape Error. There's a door up there, but I can't seem to walk onto this platform. And the whale's gone. Oh, who's this? Voyager River Alea, are you with me? Kaz, what happened? There was an interference with your console. What interference? Something in here. I can't. Can't read the data. Interesting. You can't. I suggest we speak in private. Come to Metscan. I need to examine you anyway. Why do I need to be examined? I'm executing a force shutdown now. Are you there? Use the left stick to move. Oh, that's my character there. Look. Just 
say about this game. <laughs> it is unlike anything I have ever played, ever. It's, it's kind of like, I don't know whether I'm playing That's enough it or playing me. Through officer training. Relax and enjoy the trip. Space Agency. Okay. Now where where are we? That down. Playing some VR by those of things. Al, are you all right? Is this your way of showing concern, Alice? But I am concerned. I guess you haven't checked your mailbox. Damn it, he sent it to everyone? Pissed him off real good. Dear Dr. Jones, Captain Goran Henry Milosevic to River Alea, Catherine Jones, crew subject regarding requests. Let me start by stating that your insolence has a detrimental effect on the crew's morale. You and I both know why you are on this mission, and I am entitled to inform you that such action constitutes as a conflict of interest. For future reference, I suggest that you leave the decision-making to your superiors and stick to the scientific expertise for which you were selected. What an ass. I want to make clear to all participants in the mission that this expedition is strictly governed by a military command and that whoever disobeys such orders will directly breach the hiring contract and would be subject to immediate dismissal from the mission. The Space Agency Crisis Management Department, which is the executor of this mission, has specific guidelines <clears throat> has specific guidelines for biological crew members venturing beyond the safe zone. If such acts if such act is committed prior superior authorization, then the perpetrator is to be isolated in the hibernation chamber for the rest of this expedition. Further intervention will not be authorized until the remote observation cycle is concluded. Please consider this with grave attention and as a last warning. Under Article 5.15 of the Space Expedition Safety Protocol, SESP, any explorer who volunteers for high-risk mission is to be allowed to act on her his own free will as long as her, his, her, blah, 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 as long as her his actions don't put any crew members or the main objective of the expedition in danger. Please consider this as my official request for a solo mission to CSS Pilgrimage. There is no reason to expect that anything will change without our interve intervention or that we'll be able to gather any data. <clears throat> Presumably this is our request to, the, to him, right? It's unlikely that their firewall would just shut down on its own and allow us to get the answers from a safe distance. This endless standby is completely non-productive, and even more, it's having a detrimental effect on the overall morale of the crew, which should be one of your top priorities as a mission commander. Two, printed with an unregistered version of Fade In, I believe, I speak on behalf of everyone, everyone when I say we didn't travel for six years to just stand here and wait indefinitely. I thank you in advance for your time to review my request and count sincerely on your help. Right, that's what it was all about. Uh, until the remote observation cycle is concluded? It's another month at least. How can this idleness be of any use? I don't get it. For all it matters, I am on your side. Oh, that changes everything. What? You don't believe I want you to find your husband? I believe you don't care. Oh well, you might be right. Right, go to the med bay and talk with Kazumi. Kazumi, I need to talk to you. Why is there a question mark there? It says push. Ah, maybe there's another way I can go. Let's try. Should I try another memory? What?
talking to? There's so much cool stuff in this game, but none of it makes any sense still. I am absolutely none the wiser. Alice playing VR. Look, it says push. There's a question mark. Someone said, shall we try another memory? I don't bloody know. I don't understand what's going on even. Something came up then. It's empty. Empty, yes. Mm, that'll be an invasion of her privacy. It'll be an invasion of her privacy. How's Link? Can I click on something here? No? Online memory Mars. Go to the med bay and talk with Kazumi. I'd love to, but I can't seem to... So A will make me sit down, which I don't want to do. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fumbling my way through this at best. And, um... Now what the hell's going on? Slow. Do you know I've got a sneaky suspicion that the reason why you have to walk so slow is because it affects FPS. I could be totally wrong. Just something, uh, call it instinct, is telling me that that's why they've restricted your speed so much. But I could be wrong. Right, now I can run. I can't run at the moment. But hang on a minute. I can run when I'm here. I'm definitely calling it there anyway. I've given you um, a good, I hope at least, a good idea of what this game is all about. I can't say that I've given you crystal clarity because I don't think this game is crystal clarity. This game is confusion, subdiffusion, it overlaid with more confusion. No idea what's going on at all. Can we at least. Get over the bridge. Are we still trying to get? We're still trying to go to the med bay. Who's that? No, so it's like a real person. Ethan Emanuel. Oh no! What the hell is happening? With Simulations in Mindscape. I met Ethan at a cosmic tequila party on Mars. To avoid the line, I caught the bartender's attention and shouted, Two tequilas! Hey, you know it's my turn, right? I glanced at the guy standing next to me and noticed a tall, handsome man with brown hair and a twinkle in his eye. Ethan, he nodded toward me. Elia, nice to meet you. I thought it was a song, it's not, is it? And thank you for letting me go before you. I would only forgive you if you share one of your tequilas with me. What do you think? I smiled and gave him the drink. Cheers, cheers, you pretty thing. We hit it off. It turned out he was a student at the observatory 
just three years ahead of me. On the dance floor, Ethan suddenly asked if I would like to go to the Founders Towers with him for a walk. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, he said. The view apparently was magnificent. I followed him outside, smitten by his enthusiasm. As we strolled down the road, he offered me a puff from his ma marijuana cigarette. <laughs> That's not what it says, but what does it say? Mayuaji? From his Mayuaji cigarette. And, uh, and I did as if, it, as if I was a pro at it. Little did he know I had never done it before. Never told him my head was spinning the next day. Okay. So these are like memories that we're getting rid of or something. So weird. Constantly blurry. Now I can't run again. Now I can run. Who are these guys? Obviously that's something we did at some point. Some yoga, some exercise. More blurriness. Now I can't run again. Who's this? What's this? A robot. Your guess is as good as mine, guys. I'm in a flipping clue. Exit simulation. Goodbye, yes, Mars. please. Right, so that didn't get us any closer to the med bed thing, did it? Why won't it let me press the button? It says push. When I try, it just gives me a question mark. Now if you like puzzles and you like challenges then this is probably the game for you because this is puzz this is incredibly challenging and very puzzling. I, I, uh, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I just I'm going to have to I'm going to have to leave it there cuz I'm just going to be here forever. So weird. So, so weird. Nothing seems to conform to any kind of normality. Nothing makes any sense. Nothing seems to work the way you expect it to work. Surreal. That's the best way I can describe it. Surreal. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Well, listen, thanks for watching. If you're interested in this game, go check it out on Steam. Um, it's like four quid. And, I mean, there's a lot of work gone into this. You can tell that this hasn't just been thrown together half arsedly But what the heck is going on? I don't know. But anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Till next time, goodbye.